I think the biggest difference between Melbourne University, my home university, and GW is the relationship that students have with professors, knowing them on a first name basis, interacting with them on a daily basis, not just coming to class, listening to them talk and then leaving like at home, uh, and kind of having a little bit more of a personal relationship with them. The biggest differences between GW and CBS is the, the smaller classes. That GW I've had mostly classes with like 30, max 40 other people, and in CBS it's 150 uh, minimum actually. A lot of more interaction with the teachers, I actually get to know the teachers here. At University of Sydney, like professors don't really involve themselves as much. Classes are a lot bigger. Um, like most of my classes would have like 100 or 200 people, and it's just a lot more relaxed. Science is also a lot bigger at my new home university. Science here seems to be quite a lot smaller and everyone here just does political science. Here students, I, f I feel that they're more um, committed to like projects outside them, like extracurricular activities, internships and stuff like that. Um, they enjoy more their, their like college life, like to 360 degrees. The most GW thing you've done, a combination of the basketball team and all the sports teams, the cheerleaders, the first ladies, and that, all that craziness was um, really overwhelming. I mean, school spirit and is not really a thing in Melbourne University. Like the basketball games, uh, at CBS we don't have any, any sport teams that we actually support in that way. The midnight breakfast uh, was, that was an experience seeing uh, a lot of students lining up for free food. I don't think we've ever seen that in Copenhagen, uh, the school giving that much free food out. We had to sing the GW song because we were having a game of Jeopardy, like GW Jeopardy for the exchange note. And that was ridiculous, we had no idea how to do it. And also we went to like basketball games and we had to sing the GW song. Being able to miss lectures because at home uh, lectures are always recorded so if you don't want to go to class or you're sick or you sleep in, you don't have to go and chase down someone for their notes. And oh, being able to legally drink. I miss about CBS here, I would say the, the alcohol politics that I cannot go to a park here and have a beer with a few friends after a final or that will probably be good to come back to. I miss the city, if coming from Copenhagen maybe people say that that's an interesting city but when you live there your whole life uh, you suddenly get to see that you think that Washington is interesting. Um, we both lived on E Street, yeah, uh, which was a really nice dorm with a nice uh, rooftop and a good view. We're looking at the monument yeah, right now. So. We could we could also see the Capitol. I'm going to miss my roommates very much because it was the first time I lived with other people in a dorm. Because it's not really a big thing in Europe or at least at Queen Mary. I I'm also going to miss the people that I met here on my classes and also other exchange students. The library here is a lot better than the library back at my university where so often there was a book I was looking for, it was impossible for me to get it. I'd have to maybe like order it from a university that's on the other part of the country but here like everything is all really close. Definitely Chipotle. Definitely all the friends I've made here. At home I don't live on campus and I think just being on campus, always having your friends there and you know, living on the floor next to your friends and... It's my first time living by myself because that's the only thing about um, Australia is that most people live at home still. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the people that I met here, just like my roommates the, and, and my friends. And I'm gonna miss the pass and fail, <laughs> pass and fail system. Uh, I'm gonna miss California tortilla. <laughs> I mean, to sing the GW song. It, I actually don't even know what the GW song is. Neither do I. Definitely Chipotle. Definitely all the friends I've made here. Not my boyfriend Pablo. Um, it's different. Oh, I, I actually don't miss anything about my own university. Have I done any GW things? I'll... Have you been enjoying any free food here? Occasionally. Okay.